Hello guys, it is the Gaming Weasel back again with another video. And in today's video, uh, you can see by the title, it says how to prepare for the new war. Now the new war is coming in December. We have uh, no idea when, but it is going to be coming, which is very, very hype inducing. And you probably want to know how you should get prepared for it and what you need to do. Well, we don't know a lot of things about the new war, what you need, what you don't need. But I want to recommend a couple of things and when the update actually comes out, I might make a follow up video to this one so I can better inform you on that. Well, considering you probably played the game for some time and you know, you did a couple of things, gathered enough materials and everything, I'm going to recommend some quests. The new war quest, definitely the uh, Chimera Prologue, I can't speak today, apparently the Chimera Prologue, the Era Quest and the Maker uh, should be all three completed. Now, a couple of quests that I still recommend you do is going to be, if I can find it, the Second Dream, of course, the War Within, these two quests are going to be very good. Uh, the Rising Tide quest, I'm going to talk about that one in just a second. And uh, let's see, the Sacrifice quest as well, now it's going to be a good one to complete. And uh, pretty much the Natal quest maybe as well, that one is going to be a good one. And all of these other ones are basically going to be kind of thrown at you, so you're going to have them completed anyway. And the Archon quest is going to be very good to complete as well. Now, talking about the Rising Tide quest. The Rising Tide quest will allow you to unlock Railjack. And now, a couple of things that you need for this is a clan that has a dry dock built, so you can build your Railjack, of course, which shouldn't be that hard. You just have to go into recruiting chat. If you don't know, go into recruiting chat, you're going to see people uh, typing, you know, uh, hosting or this clan, sorry, uh, looking for these and these players. We have this and this, and there you go. If you don't have a clan by now, and uh, which, you, which you definitely probably should. Now, a couple of things. Uh, we're gonna recommend Warframes. Now, uh, Warframes are, don't seem to be like the main aspect of this, but having good Warframes is always great. So, Excalibur Umbra, which you're gonna get from Room Requests, definitely get him, use him, max him up, uh, and then, uh, of course, set him up in a really cool beast way. Uh, I'm not gonna show you the builds, there's builds on my channel about this, there's builds on the other YouTubers' channels, so you can do that. Gara is going to be very good as well, she is uh, very capable at surviving, uh, doing damage, and uh, protecting the defense objectives, if there is going to be some. Uh, Goss is really great for speed, uh, Lavos is very good for survivability, doing things fast, and he doesn't have energy, so that's really cool. You can use Mesa for destruction, but I don't know what it's going to be all about. Uh, Revenant is a decent Warframe as well. Severgoth, you can get him. Wukong is going to be like your jack of all trades. Uh, you can move fast, you can complete missions fast, you can defend uh, stuff pretty easily, but Gar is a little bit better uh, at that than uh, Wukong is. Zaku is a very good Warframe, and Wisp as well. Now... The Rising Tide quest. I'm going to not recommend weapons. Uh, I'm going to be making a separate video on my top five weapons. Uh, Archwing, basically use whatever suits you, whatever you want to use. I use the Autonata Prime. Uh, I use the Prisma Duel, uh, the, the Curious, the, the Sirius, whatever this is called. And the Veritax as my uh, melee weapon. Uh, your Necromech, which I'll talk about as well, is going to be very important. Because Necromechs and Railjack seem the, one of the most important aspects of this quest. So... The Rising Tide quest. Basically, this is you're gonna go to a couple of nodes and fix up your railjack, make yourself a new one. Uh, they have reduced the material requirements and they have reduced the time requirements. Uh, before it took, I think, around so there's I think five parts, which took six hours to craft, which is 30 hours in total. Uh, they I don't know the exact numbers that they changed, but they did say it's gonna take you a lot less now. Honestly, I don't have a great build for my Railjack. I just basically put on mods that I think are pretty good. As you can see, I don't even have any maxed out mods or anything. So basically, I just, you know, thrown down some uh, some mods that I can. You can definitely do and check out videos on this as well. And I'm going to change this up as well, probably. Uh, but for now, this is actually sh shooting me pretty, uh, pretty good. For battle, we have uh, Munitions Vortex, Tether, and Seeking Volley. And for the tactical ones, I basically have uh, these two, uh, which is the Breach Quanta, temporarily st uh, stall hull breach for 20 seconds, and the Cloak from Enemies for 10 seconds, engine speed reduced to 5%. 
then going to intrinsics uh, I basically have everything sort of sort of ish balanced uh, I have my command intrinsic which is going to be very good to rank up definitely do this one engineering is going to be good as well gunnery uh, piloting uh, I think tactical is the least useful one but I might be wrong i'm not sure about this i know that the command intrinsic is very very good and very very uh needed in that sort of aspect uh now let me just see if i can check out my crew which i cannot do here uh but you can acquire a crew by going into fortuna and going the ticker and then you can buy yourself some crewmates level them up I set up mine for and mostly engineering and uh, of course I set up to a mine on turrets so they can defend the ship while I'm uh, you know flying around in my uh, ultra. A couple of warframes that I recommend inside of Railjack. Uh, Lavos is really great because it doesn't need energy because you do need energy to use your special battle abilities. Uh, he's very good. Uh, you can use Wisp as well because she you can put down her moats and then your Orchwing is going to be super fast if you put down the, the Haste moat, which is very good. Uh, you can use Protea as well and put up her Sentry and plus she's a pretty decent Warframe at killing enemies as well. And uh, basically those, those are some of the recommendations that I recommend. Now, let's go to the Necrolist. Now, uh, here is the place where you're going to acquire yourself uh, a Necromech. Now, what are Necromechs? How do you get them? Well, I'm going to show you that in a second. Necromechs are basically um, Titans that you can acquire, uh, like in, of course, uh, the... Let me just uh, necroloid, there you go. Um, these are going to be necromechs that you're going to obtain, uh, and uh, a mechs, basically, that you're going to obtain, and you can use them to fight off enemies, kill enemies, and uh, apparently they're going to be very, very useful here. So, what you're going to do once you're here, fast travel, go to Lloyd, switch to operator mode, and then come here. You're going to talk to Lloyd, and uh, you're going to check out your necrolind standing. I'm guessing yours is going to be pretty low, like mine is, as you can see. I do have to rank it up, but... Uh, it's not going very good. Uh, and of course, here is where you're going to craft Voidric, which is going to be your first Necromech. Now, uh, you do need to reach, I think it is uh, the Clarence Modus stance, or uh, I guess status with him, which is not, which shouldn't take you that much. Uh, so basically, two or three days, farm this out and get. Uh, to get to this rank and you're pretty much uh, pretty much cool uh, you are gonna need orkin ballistics metrics you're gonna need a couple of these let me just check i think it's necromic embellishments no it's in trade orkin metrics yes you're gonna have to trade the orcas uh, animus matrix the uh, ballistics and the orientation matrix now you get these by playing uh the let me just go to mother playing at the uh, isolation vault so go to mother go to bounties the first one is going to be uh isolation vault level one you can also get damaged uh necromech parts here which is very good because these are going to be very good you're going to need them for crafting void rig which is going to be your first necromech uh, then you're going to unlock the second isolation vault and then the third one here you're also going to get some very rare resources some really cool uh thingamabobs as well uh, you are going to need a lot of fishing materials, so fish around, definitely. You're going to need some mining materials as well, so mine as well. Those are going to be very, very good. Uh, if you don't know, you can always, and you have the platinum to spare, you can go to Dother, Dother, I can't speak as I said, and you can buy and check out the daily deals, and you can also fast travel to Otak and then buy some uh, mining materials as well, pre-built with platinum, of course. So... Basically, that is it. There is nothing more to talk about. That's all we know, and that's all I could recommend you uh, for now. So, as I said, make yourself a Railjack, do the Rising Tide quest, uh, and then... Not Railjack, yes, I did say it correctly. Railjack, make yourself a Railjack, then go do the Rising Tide quest, and then after that, uh, definitely grow, grind up some Lloyd Standing, and then uh, build yourself a Necromech. Of course, I have to, dis you know, I have to clarify that... Uh, the Necromex and the Railjack can be bought for Platinum. So that's what I did. I didn't personally farm out or uh, the 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 Necromex. I didn't farm them out, but I did farm out. Um, what's his name? Um, I did farm out myself the um, 
real jack i can't speak apparently because farming up the real jack is pretty easy so you don't have to you know worry about that but as you can see you can buy void rig for 375 platinum and if i go to real jack let me just type it real jack uh you can buy yourself a real jack for uh 400 platinum which is very good or you know you can buy the captain's bundle which will give you uh four crew members slots and a notorious um what's his name that's a sentient, uh, which will auto, uh, this will basically auto repair any damages done to your ship. So there you go. That's basically what I could recommend. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, and if this was helpful, leave a like, a comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. The Gaming Weasel over and out.